Hello everyone. My name is Samuel Anderson, a systems engineer at Cisco Meraki. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to stack your MS390 cloud managed switches. First, we'll jump into dashboard to begin the setup. After that, we'll do the stack configuration and cabling. Lastly, we'll verify the stack configuration. Let's take a look at dashboard. If this is your first time booting up your new MS390s, please take a look at my previous video, linked below. For the fastest configuration, please ensure that your MS390s have already completed any firmware upgrades available. I'll open the switch page to verify my switches are on the latest version. As of June 29, 2020, the recommended firmware version for MS390 is 12.17. To verify that you're on the latest firmware, please check out our MS390 deployment guide on Meraki documentation or contact Meraki support. Now that we've verified my MS390s are up to date, let's check out the switch stacks page. Hover over switch in the left hand sidebar and under the monitor section, click switch stacks. Since I haven't stacked my MS390s yet, this page is empty. By clicking add one, I can configure my first stack. In this design, I have an IDF and an MDF. I'll stack my two IDF switches together. First, name the stack, then select the switches to stack together. Lastly, hit create. With my stack configured in dashboard, let's do one final check before powering off the switches. We'll return to the switch page using the left-hand sidebar. I'll click on HK IDF1 and scroll to the bottom of the page. On the sidebar containing the switch information, we see a section named config beneath the firmware section. Though changes made in dashboard are relatively instantaneous, it may take a few seconds before the stacking configuration is pushed to the desired switches. Before powering off your switches to connect stack cables, please ensure that the config section says up to date. As you can see, mine is up to date, meaning it's time to power off the switches and get ready for cabling. With your switches powered off, it's time to cable up. As with all stackable Meraki switches, the maximum number of switches in a stack is eight. Switches should be stacked in a ring topology. In a setup with three switches, for example, switch one is connected to switch two, switch two is connected to switch three, and finally switch three is connected back to switch one. Ensure the Cisco logo is facing up when inserting the cables. Tighten the screws after clicking the stacking cable in place. While my switches are unplugged, I'll also connect my stack power cables. Note that we are also using a ring topology, but please be aware that with stack power, rings can have up to four members. In a scenario where I have eight switches stacked together, I can divide my ring topology into two separate stack power rings. With my cables connected and secured, it's time to boot the switches. With my switches back online, I'll refresh the page and then take a look at HKIDF1 again. Clicking onto the switch, we'll see that stack ports 1 and 2 are connected, as indicated towards the middle of the page. And scrolling down a bit on this left-hand sidebar, we'll see switch stack, HKIDF. With that, that concludes our video of how to stack your MS390 cloud managed switches. From Cisco Meraki, thanks for joining. For more information and tutorials on the MS390, please visit us at meraki.cisco.com forward slash MS390 deployment.